Hi grade tens and I hope that you're well. So today I'm going to be doing an accounting lesson with you and we're going to start with indigenous bookkeeping, right? So before I get into it, I just want to talk a little bit about accounting and why you why we have to account for things. Because I believe that a lot of the times we get into school and we start a subject and we just do what we need to do to pass and get through it but i really feel it's essential especially in accounting and other subjects as well but for accounting today it's very essential for you to understand why we do what we do so that it makes sense for you every step we take and you start to understand the process because the process is very important also in your test because you'll find you need to know what to do next and if you don't understand the process then you don't know what to do next so that's what we're going to start with right so i want to start with what accounting is in general so let's look at my board so i can give you a broad definition right so accounting is a form of communication that is used to convey a message right about the finances of a business right so the one thing that i didn't put here that's very important to mention is the fact that it's um so okay before i get into that let's just dive sick to this whole statement first so accounting is a form of communication basically we account not only for ourselves and not only for the people in the business to understand specific things and make decisions but also we account so that people can be able to see what's going on in our business and this is very relevant when you get into grade 11 when you start to look into in like in, I, mean, I think even in this grade yeah there'll be internal controls this year internal controls next year we'll start to do shares buying and selling all of these things are affected by the accounting system in the very beginning the fact that we need to be able to gather information to be able to decide which information is relevant for which decision so that we can then make the decisions well informed in the same sense Let's say, for instance, with shareholders, and I don't, you won't be doing shareholders this year, but let's say, for instance, with shareholders, um, when we evaluate the business, its liquidity, its solvency, basically when we value the business and we check the statements, we then create the financial statements so that people who are pr prospective um, investors and shareholders can look into those records and decide whether they are interested in having or owning or buying shares in our business. So as you can see, it's very essential because if the business records are not in order and if the business records indicate that our business is not doing well or that our business is not booming, then we end up with less investors, less people trying to add to our business. And therefore, that's why it's very important for us to account for everything that happens in our business so that people outside feel involved, right? Which goes into the concept of transparency, which is also something we will look into later on. But there are so many of these accounting um, sort of ethics, principles, rules, policies that will help us convey messages so that we are inclusive of the people around us as well as management needs to be able to see these statements and for them to make sense so that they know what decisions to make with regard to staff and this one's like maybe working hours with regard to product or the service we're providing with regard to how much money is being spent how much money is coming in all of those decisions rely on the accounting process and that's why it's very very important and a business should not run without a proper accounting system right then the next one we're going to talk about is the accounting policy, right? So the accounting policy is a set of decisions. So I just spoke to you about decisions. So a set of decisions about the way a business deals with the same transaction in order to achieve consistent results. Okay, so when we create final accounts or final statements, final financial statements, we, we complete them at the end of the year, right? as a summary of what has happened in the whole year, not even a summary, but a detailed, a detailed sort of summary, right? And we get all of this information from the happenings of the year. Now what you will find is you've paid rent 12 times, right? It's the same transaction. But just because you keep paying rent doesn't mean you should ignore that you've paid rent and only account for one rent, rent amount. Does it make sense? So what I'm basically saying is the accounting process is basically saying, oh, policy, my bad. The accounting policy is basically saying they will be similar transactions month to month. They should be dealt similar, dealt with similarly, not only in our business, but throughout other businesses as well. 
for the use of comparison, for the use of evaluation, and for all of these other things that I talked to you about when I was talking to you about the importance of communication, right? And the importance of accounting as a whole. So to be able to make these decisions, we need to be able to interpret that information. To be able to interpret that information, all the information must be available and clear to interpret, right? So this is basically the general process of accounting. And in the next video, I'm going to get, in, to get into how we account, the order of accounting, and it will make sense to you, this whole indigenous bookkeeping thing. We'll do some examples, and then hopefully I would have helped you, but understand that nothing is done for the sake of in accounting. Everything has a purpose, and along the way, you will understand that, because accounting is, uni is not universal, well, it's universal. As in, accounting should be the same all around the world. It's similar, maybe not exactly the same, but it is largely similar. So that people can be able to, anyone, maybe someone from another country can be able to review our statements and understand because they also create, they also, um, they put their statements together in a similar way. But anyways, yeah, that's it for this, this video and I hope that this helped you. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, bye.